Greetings, brothers and sisters of the Imperium, and welcome to my channel. So, for today's video, you can consider this episode 0 of our full Space Marine 2 single-player campaign playthrough. We are also going to do some content based around the multiplayer stuff. I have seen there is a PvP mode, and there is also a PvE kind of mission-based game as well. Uh, but we are going to focus on the single-player campaign for now. I am hoping that with this video today I will also be able to get episode 1 out, but the main problem I have with that is the majority of missions are <laughs> between half an hour to an hour, if not longer for some of them, depending on how long you take in the actual mission yourself. And yeah, I don't really see points throughout these missions where I can kind of pause and have shorter episodes, so it's going to take a fair bit of work to edit all of this together, but fingers crossed. What we're going to do in today's episode is we are going to have a look at the main menu and also have a look at the settings menus as well, just to see what different options we can have a look at before we get started. So yes, welcome to Space Marine 2. As you can see, you've got a various different profile connectivity options. As you can see at the right at the top here, you can link your Epic Games account. There is also a Pros account that you can link. I don't have one of those, but I did create one specifically for this. We have difficulties. We have helmet visibility, which is something you can change throughout the game. I have seen that you can change this on the fly. You don't have to have it as one or the other. You can change it all the way through. Obviously, you've got different languages and you've got subtitles, which obviously we're going to want. There are story subtitles, and you can have full subtitles as well, which is all the different marines and people who are standing around who are talking to each other, you can see what they're saying. And then for network, you have text chat, which is obviously people can talk to you by typing rather than talking, and you've also got cross-play options. Next, the video options. First thing, we're going to change display mode to full screen. I'm not really going to go through the video options too much because I don't usually change these. I just kind of let my system recommend a baseline of settings and just stick with that. But one of the things I do change every time is motion blur, as I'm not a big fan of it. I turned it off in many games in the past and I'm going to turn it off on this as well. Next we've got controls. Again, we're not going to change these until we've actually played the opening campaign missions. We're just going to have to learn what they're like. There are also, also voice chat and things like that. I'm guessing there's some kind of voice communication in the game when you're playing with other players. But yeah, we're not really going to change much of the settings. We're just going to have a quick look at what we have. You've got all your different hotkeys. You've even got controller hotkeys as well that you can edit and change. We might have a look at changing them. We might not. Next we have our camera. So you've got basically your mouse sensitivity options, your controller sensitivity options. Oh wow, you've got aim assist. And then there's camera shake as well. Camera shake I'm going to leave on for now, but we might change that in future. Next is audio, which we're not going to touch at all. We're going to leave that until we've played a few missions and seen what it's like. After that we've got interface. We have different markers and different highlighters and the presets of the HUD, all that kind of stuff. And then accessibility. So we have a social wheel, which you can either hold or activate, or hold or toggle, sorry. Automatic attention focus, I'm going to turn that off because I'd rather choose to look at something the game's telling me to look at rather than just having it automatically zoom me in if I'm in the middle of a fight. Again, you've got your HUD for subtitles and off-screen markers. You've got audio and you have a colorblind mode as well, which I really like. And there you go. That is pretty much the settings menu. So we're going to crack on with getting started on a new game. Thanks everybody for watching this first video, and I will catch you in episode one.